The purpose of this clip is to demonstrate that undertaking a regression in matrix form or observation-wise form is really the same thing. You've learned about both and now I'm just gonna really demonstrate how both of them are exactly identical. So we'll start with a regression model in matrix form. Uh, y equals x beta plus u, so that y is a vector, an m by 1 vector of uh, dependent variables. The x, we'll do, use a simple case where we just have a constant and one vector of explanatory variable, means we have two coefficients and a vector of arrow terms, and here are the dimensions of all these pieces. And of course they are such that it all nicely fits. So that's our matrix model, and we know that the OLS parameter estimator for that model is x prime x inverse x prime y. So that, that formula you you will have to know at any time. So how is the matrix form? Let's state the regression model, the same regression model in observation wise form. That would be yi equals beta naught plus beta 1 times xi plus ui. Now how do we estimate these beta hats here? Well, beta 1 hat is covariance divided by the variance. And you should, of course, remember what the covariance and how the covariance and the variance are calculated. Here are the formulas, but that factor 1 over n nicely cancels out. And uh, beta naught hat is estimated as y bar minus beta 1 hat times x bar. So going back to the matrix formula for beta hat, that is of course a 2 by 1 vector. What we're now going to show is that that second element of that 2 by 1 vector is exactly the same as that covariance divided by variance formula. So equation 15 and 17 should be exactly equal. So we'll start from 15. We'll need x prime x in our x prime x inverse x prime y formula. So let's see what x prime x is. So we'll write the x prime and the x and we'll do the multiplication. We will end up with a 2 by 2 matrix. So the first one is just 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 and we'll do that n times. So that's n. Then we get the sum of xi's on the off diagonal element and on the second diagonal element we get x1 squared plus x2 squared all the way up to xn squared so we get the sum of xi squared. So what about the inver inverse? Note that one way to calculate the inverse is using what's called the uh, adjoint matrix and the determinant. 1 over the determinant times the adjoint matrix. So if we label these elements of x prime x as a, b, c and d, we will need the determinant of this. And that's just the product of the diagonal elements minus the product of the off-diagonal elements. And that's going to be sum of xi and that's squared. We will try to put some meaning to these terms. And for this we want in front of the sums, we want factors 1 over n because then we can interpret these as variances or perhaps as, as means. So what we want is 1 over n times the sum of xi squared and back here we want the sum of xi 1 over n. Okay, but now of course we can't just do that, we'll have to honor that altogether we need an n here and altogether we don't have any n here so we'll have to put an n squared here so that this cancels out. But now we we can see terms that we actually recognize as something. So I'll just replicate the first bit. We just factor out the n squared. That's the first thing. And then we can see in here all of a sudden we can see something that perhaps looks familiar. It turns out that this is just the variance of x. Why is that just the variance of x? The key to understand this is to see that this little bit is just x bar. Okay, and then we can see a variance formula. Now what about x prime x inverse? That's 1 over the determinant, and um, we just calculate the determinant times the adjoint matrix. For the adjoint matrix, we'll just interchange the diagonals, and in the off-diagonals we multiply with negative 1. 
So basically we've just, we're just implementing this little note formula here, a reminder of how to calculate an inverse. And we just bring the factor of 1 over d into the matrix. So each term is going to be multiplied with 1 over d. So what have we done? We've just calculated x prime x inverse. Now we also need x prime times y in order to get to our uh, or less estimate in matrix form. X prime times y is going to be this guy. So that, that means we'll end up with a 2 by 1 vector. The first element is the sum of all the yi's. The second is the sum of the products of xi and yi. So now we can get back to our or less estimator formula and we have all the ingredients, the x prime x inverse that's this guy here, times x prime y, and that's the guy we just calculated. So that's 2 by 2 times 2 by 1. We will end up with a 2 by 1, and the second element of that, that's going to be the estimate of beta hat 1. So let's see, beta hat 1 is going to be negative of the sum of xi over d times the sum of yi, plus n over d times the sum of x r y i. Okay, so that's this guy here. And we'll just do a little bit of um, algebra. We have a factor 1 over d for both sum and so we'll take that out and we are left with, with this. I interchange the terms. Now the d of course we've calculated before it's just n time n squared times the variance of x. So we are still working from that matrix formula, but what we want to achieve is that that second element is actually the same as that equation 17. Okay, because that's what I wanted to demonstrate here to demonstrate that the matrix form and the observation wise form, which is just covariance of y and x divided by the variance of x is the same as that red bit here coming from the matrix form. So again we will fiddle around with the n's a little bit. We want to cancel out that n squared because in the denominator we want to have a variance. So what do we have to put in here to make the uh, numerator to be exactly the same as before? You check yourself that that is right. Okay, A few of the n's cancels, cancel out so that we are honoring the equality. So that should be all right. Okay. What we can now see is we can cancel out these n squareds and what we are left with is 1 over n times xi sum of xi yi minus 1 over n sum of xi 1 over n sum of yi divided by the variance of x. Now what we see up there, these green bits, these are of course just x bar and y bar. So what we have is 1 over n, the sum of x r y i minus x bar y bar divided by the variance of x i. Now this top bit, this is just exactly the same as the covariance of y i and x i. So what we have demonstrated is that that second element in 15 is exactly the same as 17. So the matrix formulation is exactly the same as the observation-wise form. Let's move on to the variance of beta 1 hat. What I want to show is that the variance for beta 1 hat is the same in the matrix form and in the observation-wise form. So exactly the same exercise just with the variance. From the matrix form, we know the variance formula to be this, sigma squared times x prime x inverse. For the observation-wise form, the variance for the j beta estimator is sigma squared divided by sstj times 1 minus rj squared. Uh, rj squared is just the regression of the j variable on all other explanatory variables. So in the matrix form, variance of the hat's really 2 by 2 matrix in our example because we have uh, two coefficients, so the variances will be on the diagonal and the covariance between the two coefficients on the off-diagonal. We're interested in that second variance. We want to see whether that's the same over here. So we'll, on the observation-wise form, we calculate the variance of beta 1 hat. Now, R 
1 squared, is basically the regression of the axis on the constant. Now if you regress the axis on the constant, what you get is the r1 squared, but of course a constant cannot explain variation in the x, therefore that is going to be 0. So what we have here is just sigma squared divided by SST1. The sum, and SST1 is the sum of squared total of the first variable, that's here the axis. Okay, so let's go back to the matrix form. We need the x from x inverse. Okay, so we I just copy that here, the green bit, and we pre multiply that with the sigma squared. So now we are interested in that 2 by 2 in a, in a second diagonal element, so that's sigma squared times n over d. Now d we know from before is just n squared times the variance of xi, one of the n's cancels out, so we get sigma squared times n times the variance of xi. Now what's the variance of xi? That's 1 over n times the sum of xi minus x bar squared. So we are left with sigma squared over that sum, and that sum is of course just the sum of squared total, and therefore we have demonstrated that the variance from the matrix form for the beta 1 hat parameter estimator is exactly the same as the variance coming from the observation wise form. Let's do a little quiz to see where we understood. Here we have a matrix set exists of two variables x and y with n observations and the question is now which of the following is equal to z prime z? And we're having four options here. There will all be two by two matrices, so that's not a surprise. This is option A. Option B comes here. Option C is the following. And option D is this one. So now pause the clip and think. Here's the answer. A is the correct one. Why is that? So let's just write down Z prime and then we can imagine multiplying Z prime times Z. Now the 1 1 element is going to be x1 squared, x2 squared and the sum. The off diagonal is xi times yi, the sum. Now B you can see that's the off diagonals which aren't quite right. As the sum of xi times the sum of yi isn't the same as the sum of xi times yi. That's important. So what about C? Now variance xi, that's really 1 over n times the sum of xi minus x bar squared, but that is not the same as the sum of xi squared. So C is incorrect and D is basically exactly the same as C, just with an additional factor 1 over n, but that doesn't make it right either. So here comes the second question. We have a regression model, yi dependent variable with zi and xi as explanatory variables. And we define a matrix M that contains as the first column a vector of 1, second column is a vector of sets, and third column a vector of x's. And now I give you some results. Here is the inverse of x m prime m, and here we have m prime y, all the values. And now the question is, what is alpha 2 hat? Pause and calculate. The solution is we need to remember that alpha hat is m prime m inverse m prime y and alpha hat consists of three elements and we want the third because that's alpha 2 hat. And all it is, it's a matrix multiplication which involves these terms, the cross products of these terms. If you undertake this calculation, what you get is negative 1.4211. Next question, question 3. We're having 
the same regression model as in the previous question and we know that one way to write the standard error of alpha hat 2 is the following it's sigma hat divided by the square root of SSTX times 1 minus Rx squared. The question now is what is Rx squared? Here are the possible solutions. A R squared of, a re of the regression 1, the regression model up here. B R squared of regressing Yi on a constant and Xi. C the R squared of regressing Zi on a constant and xi and or d the r squared of regressing xi on a constant and zi pause the clip and think the solution is the last is d okay and you just need to know the definition of this uh, R squared when we calculate variances or standard errors of coefficients.